Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal sacrament, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We made it. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I just want to uh, recognize once again all those uh, who were both baptized and confirmed at Mass today. And, you know, this is a, a whole life change, right? Uh, we're orienting our life toward Jesus Christ. And I want to thank them. Uh, especially for their example, because your example of coming and standing here before the altar, professing your faith, uh, being baptized, receiving the sacrament of confirmation, renews the faith of all of us. And uh, so welcome to this community. I want to recognize uh, once again, Warren Tate, Caitlin Massa, Brittany Crotty, Brett Kane, and Lindsay Raddick. Let's give them a round of applause. There's something uh, great uh, going on here at St. Petronelle, and uh, that not only is that tes uh, testified by those who are coming into the church tonight, uh, but we also have a young man who has begun studies for the priesthood. And uh, so I'd like to thank not only Jack Meinhardt, but also his parents for their generosity in uh, supporting their son in his study for the priesthood. So if you're wondering who Jack is, he's the tallest one in the church. He's right back there. So let's give him a... We also have, as uh, if you have been here through the whole sacred triduum, you know that we have the best sacred music program in the diocese maybe the state of Illinois. Is that right, Dr. Rasmussen? He's not saying anything. He's, he's putting his hands up like this. Thank you to our beautiful choir. And also, uh, you've noticed the altar is uh, so beautiful. This is done with the help of, uh, of you, the parishioners, and those who came late on Friday night after Stations of the Cross to to decorate not only our altar here, but also over in the Parish Life Center. So thank you uh, to all those who dedicated their time and, and their preparation uh, for the beautiful church in PLC. Um, also, I want to recognize, um, many of you are aware that we, uh, for uh, decades now, have had a community primarily of Sudanese refugees who have come uh, here to Glen Ellen, to the state of Illinois, and they call St. Petronell their home. They worship uh, every Sunday uh, at about 11.30, sometimes it's later, sometimes it's earlier, and uh, Alice de Marquiso is uh, their chaplain, but they worship every uh, Sunday at 11.30 in Arabic. Uh, so if any of you know Arabic and you're looking for an Arabic mass or a, a prayer service, communion service. Uh, it's usually over in Colonial Hall each Sunday. So let's give a real welcome again to all of our students. <laughs> let's see, I'm, I'm looking at Melissa. I want to make sure I don't, don't miss anybody. So I'm going to thank everybody. <laughs> um, so you've all been thanked now. Uh, uh, I would ask two things. One, if the candles that you received, if you could return them in the baskets as you leave so we can use them again uh, next year. And also uh, leave the booklets in the pew so we can use them tomorrow. But we are going to give you something to take home with you. Uh, there are bottles of Easter water uh, up here on the table. Please feel free to take a bottle. We ask one per family, please. But feel free to take a bottle home Bless your home, bless your family, 
bless your Easter meal uh, with that Easter water. It has special meaning in that it's blessed here at the Easter Vigil uh, in the first celebration of our Lord's resurrection this liturgical year. Um, so please feel free to do that. Um, and I, I think that's it. I just want to, on behalf of all our priests, deacons, and staff here at St. Petronell, wish you all a truly, a truly blessed celebration of our Lord's resurrection this Easter. And I also want to thank Tim, who's been holding this big book through the whole ceremony. And um, his arms are going to be stuck like this. So, all right. Thank you to all our servers, our lectors, our Eucharistic ministers, and all those who have contributed to our liturgy to make it so beautiful. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and his, in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia. Christ.